had um, two breast reductions and lipo before I turned 18. Raven Simone is opening up about how she went under the knife for several cosmetic procedures as a minor. On Sunday's episode of her podcast with her wife, Miranda Pierman Mayday, the best podcast ever with Raven and Miranda, the former Disney Channel star shared who most encouraged her to get plastic surgery at such a young age. Okay, but yeah, I got- I'm sorry. And you also said before the age of 18. Yeah, before the age of 18. Which my- means you were a minor. Correct. There was paperwork involved. My dad suggested strongly that I should get my breast reduced. <laughs> my breast reduced. See that 10 times fast. I know, right? And um, he was like, so you don't feel bad. Is there anything you want? And I was like, what? I was like, yeah, if I get lipo, will people stop calling me fat? And uh, so I got a two for a two for one. So the oh, the lipo was free <laughs> in my head. That's how it was presented. And then and it was just like a mess. It was just a mess. Just being that young and ugh, the pain of it all. The 37 year old actress's wife then asked her how the recovery was for such intense procedures. Oh, my gosh. Wait. So did you go to like a recovery center? Because my sister had her tonsils taken mm-hmm, out mm-hmm. and she went to a recovery center and it was this like bougie house that all of these women who had just had facelifts and boob jobs and whatever done mm-hmm. and they were all walking around and then she's just like oh, my tonsils huh hilarious yeah i went to a recovery center but that was for my <laughs> that was for another procedure I had. <laughs> so after this one you just went home after this one, I went home. Um, I don't think I went anywhere. I might have gone like for a couple days, but I don't remember because I was so young. I'm going to be honest with you. I was like disassociated. Despite the experience, Raven decided to undergo another procedure when her breasts were, quote, still too big from gaining weight again. Uh, I disassociated. So the recovery was, you know, a little painful. I have scars. I still have scar tissue to this day. And they actually, I gained weight after and had to like go back for a quick little like, a little bit more out because they were still too big for others' feelings. That was the number two? That was the number two. The Cheetah Girls alum also revealed that she wound up having a seizure while she was under, but she still didn't know what it was caused from. That, that first one that I had, I actually had a seizure when I like woke up from the surgery. And I remember waking up and seeing everything and I was like, nah. and then I just started to have this dry mouth and couldn't breathe. And then I went back under and they were like, oh yeah, you had a seizure. <laughs> Thanks for telling me. That is so, was it from the anesthesia? I don't know what it was from. I didn't really inquire until later because they didn't, it was a long story. Damn, babes, we should know because in case you ever need to have anesthesia again, I should know if that causes you to have seizures. No, for sure. When I had my- I am your emergency contact. This is true, you are. When I had my other um, little procedure done, I had anesthesia and I didn't come, I didn't have a seizure. So I think it was just like specific to that moment. Did you have anesthesia for, yeah, obviously your wrist. Yeah, I had anesthesia when I broke my wrist, for sure, yeah. And I had anesthesia when I got my wisdom teeth pulled. So I'm good. It's just like, just knowing that the reason I opened my eyes and like couldn't swallow or breathe was because I was having a seizure and like remembering that moment, but not remembering the seizure kind of like still freaks me out a little bit. And maybe that was just a lot for the body to handle. Like, I'm sure the it breast was. reduction and that, and you were probably, do you remember how long the surgery was? I don't know. Raven and Miranda launched their new series earlier this month and they tied the knot in June 2020. Access Hollywood chatted with the couple back in March at the 2023 GLAAD Awards, and they shared some sweet details about their marriage. Oh yeah, we know Miranda. Come on, darling. Even though it's been like, what, three years you guys were? I mean, three? Oh yeah, you close, you close. Three years, three years, three years June. You're not new to this, girl. You're not new, but, but, Raven, Raven. Sorry, sorry. No, no, no. I'm going to ask her. Do you have to still coach her before you come on these red carpets? Like, I'm not allowed. No, no, no. You don't really know my wife. Um, I'm the one who gets coached. And it's okay about it. I'm okay with that. Yeah. We coach each other. It's mutual coaching. That's marriage, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know, you're right. It's a good thing, but it does take some work. It does take some work. Now, we're here at the GLAAD Awards. How important, because we know, Raven, my girl, we know you're an advocate. How important is it for you guys to both be here tonight? I think it's very important to be able to show face in an event that really talks about inclusivity and is the like our group of people. <laughs> We're married women, and this um, organization makes sure that you know what we need in our life is represented and stands up for us. So I think it's very important. 
I'm going to ask you this also, and I want to ask you some questions too, Miranda. But being around for so many years, have you seen the change? Because I was asking Jane Lynch, she said 15 years ago, it wasn't even a lot of press to cover these events. Have you seen the change and the growth of these events over the years? I mean, most definitely there's growth, but I'm going to be 100% honest. I haven't been a part of GLAD my whole entire life, so I wasn't a part of it at the very beginning. I just started to you know, show myself. So even now, you know, being able to be here and see the growth that it has is beautiful. And for sure, I mean, we're still making strides to be better and, and to make movements in the world. But you're so vocal, your movements, even if it's a short period of time, girl, listen, we know you're a part of the community because you are so supportive. And it's like, I know that's something to do with probably your partner, Miranda, your wife. Like, do you feel like you just want to champion for her all the time whenever she comes to events like this? Totally. I love being here with Raven as her date. I love just being on her arm. I think she's fantastic. It's fun to have a little date night. This is a bit hectic, but it's it's awesome to, as Raven said, be in an event that feels really inclusive and celebrates and supports us and our love and other people like us and our love. So, yeah, it's great. It's awesome. Speaking of your love, I want to know what happens with the fashion. When you guys leave the house, who puts on what outfit first and who says, okay, I'm going to match you because I do that with my girl. Like sometimes she'll put on an outfit and I already have mine on. I'm like, let me go change. Let me go say, how does it work with you? Or how did it work tonight? Well, our stylist, shout out to Jay Sky, says that, says that um, you're the frame. I'm the frame and she's the flower. So that's how it always kind of works. And we always kind of have to, this is new to me. I'm not used to having to be like styled and matched and tell a story. So flower and frame, here we are. But that's tonight I'm the flower because I'm <laughs> colorful. And I'm the frame, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Hey, listen, you're looking good. You're looking good.